Warm-up is an important step in the unfolding of a lesson. The main goals for the warm-up include raising body temperature, building healthy habits, and building athletic skills. Rather than just jogging around the court, starter warm-up should also include a healthy dose of fun. We're going to just go over some of the parts of the court. Alright, so when you're playing tennis, there's a bunch of different lines. First off, we're playing orange tennis. So let's go to this yellow line here. Anyone know what that yellow line is called? Stand, stand on it. It's called the... Oh, anyone know? It's called the baseline. That's the baseline. Okay. Now, come on and stand on this one because this is the service line. Okay, so you got that. Now we're going to have a quick race. Who's the first one to get back to the baseline? Okay, and who's the first one to the service line? Okay, now this line here is called the center line. So go stand on that, center line. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, now this one here is a single side line. Right, you touch that. And this one here is a double side line. Okay, and if I'm right here in the middle, this is a service box. So come down in the service box. Okay, right in the middle, right in the middle. Middle of the service box. What's this? Net, that's right to the net. Okay, here's the first one to the center line. Where are we? Ah, there's the center line. Where's the center line? Come on, get on it. What about the A single sideline? Any of them? Yeah? A double sideline, any one? The opposite double sideline. The opposite single sideline. Okay, now those are going to be up. And what we're going to do is we're going to move along the lines and we're going to shadow our strokes at the same time. Okay, so we're going to move to the sideline, single sideline, hit our forehand, then we're going to run up to the net. When we get to the net, we're going to do a slip step and then a volley, forehand volley only. Then we're going to uh, shuffle across to the other single sideline, and then we're going to get sideways and hit overhead. Sideways and hit overhead. Then sideways and hit overhead, and then go again. Okay?
put my racket down over here. Um, the game we're going to play is called tree tag. Okay, so tree tag goes like this. You, you would be it, and then you come in, you tag me. Now I turn into a tree and I go like this. Now I'm frozen until someone runs under my arm. Run under my arm. Okay, and then I'm free again. Right, so we've got one person who did, and of course, if that person can tag everyone and freeze everyone, they're the ultimate winner. But we will change around. Also, if you go outside on the green, you're automatically frozen as a tree. Okay, so on your mark, get set, go. That's it, you're frozen. Two frozen in a row, two saves. Run, 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 run. This time it's going to be called toilet tag. Oh, toilet tag. So here's what happens with toilet tag. I'm running and he tags me. I'm also frozen, but how I'm frozen is I have to go on one knee and this is my flusher. Someone has to quick sit on my knee fast. Flush, and then I'm okay, then I can run. All right, so you gotta use your legs and bounce up really quick. You ready, he's gonna be it. Everyone get away from him on your mark and set, let's play it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, get around. This one is called heel tag. What happens with heel tag is, and again I'm frozen, but how I'm frozen is I'm on the ground like this and my heels up. Now to unfreeze me, you have to cut heels and up, you have to cut your heels and my heels, just like I am. No, all the way down. Boom! Now we're okay, now we can go. Okay, so that's pretty hard because you, you have to leap off the ground. You have to cut your two heels onto their two heels. Okay, and he's it. Got to get away from him. Okay, let's go. Okay, so our area is going to be in the blue, so the double court. Okay, go inside the double court. You have a ball. We're going to take our continental grip, which just means that it's on the edge. I'm going to turn my thumb up. Okay, so just hold the racket so you're looking at its edge, and then just turn your thumb up and place your ball on the string. And what happens is it's called a ball steal game. And it goes like this. We're all in this blue area you're going around, and my job is to steal your tennis ball. Okay, but while I'm stealing yours, someone else could steal could steal, ah, both, yeah, I could steal mine, right? And then I go around and I'm trying to steal yours and you're trying to steal mine now. The only thing is there's no, no contact, right? So no contact allowed. Uh, of course, the idea is for you to get as many of these as you can. Right? So everyone have one ball. Everyone's got one ball. Okay, so ready? Set and... Oh, sorry, one more rule. If you drop it, listen up, if you drop it, you lost it. Only somebody else can pick it up. I can't pick it up. So you gotta be good enough to keep it on your screen. Okay, so ready and go. Smart. <laughs> well, if, you, if you drop it, someone else can pick it up. So let's get on the screen. Go get someone to fall, get someone to fall, someone to fall. facing me and I'm gonna go on the single sideline facing her. We're gonna get close enough to the net that we can touch the net. Excellent. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna to toss back and forth. The ball can't bounce, so in the air. Tossing back and forth. Pretty easy stuff, huh? But now we're gonna add in footwork and we're gonna add in a shuffle. Okay, and the shuffle looks like this. Okay, it's sideways, feet moving side to side and we're gonna go back to the baseline and back again while we toss the ball. Ready? And it looks like this. 
Overhead throwing should also be used as a warm-up activity. In this game called Clean Up Your Room, all players start with a tennis ball. The idea is to throw all the balls from your side to the other side. If no balls are left on your side, you win the game. The coach should also help overhead throwing technique. 